Welcome back to the finale of Jamie's Adventures in Dirt 4. My name is Ricky, and today... Well, today's been a long time coming. We'll be taking on the final two stages in Sweden. They are not super long, but they are also not super duper short either. Thankfully, we have a good minute and a quarter, I think, up on Hannah, who is in second place currently. Hey, the car's in good shape. It, it just looks beat up. Gives it some character. It wouldn't be a Jamie's Adventures in Dirt 4 if the car wasn't beat up. Five. After a stage. So, today, aside from finishing up the final two stages in Sweden, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen in the future. I'm going to look into my crystal ball and tell you what's about to happen to the rest of the team, as well as some other people we've met along the way. Now, None of this is going to be too far into the future. I'm not going to be like, and Jamie had 16 kids, and they're all professional racers. I'm not going to go that far into the future. Um, very, very short into the future. Mostly because if I do decide to revisit the characters, I can revisit them um, not that far into the future. And I don't have to worry about heading into a specific direction. Start with Jamie. So Jamie, Jamie's been racing pretty consistently for a while now. And... She's had a few breaks, but she is ready for a long break. She has earned it. So after she crosses the finish line and hopefully drives her car up, maybe on fire, into the uh, onto the podium there at the end, she uh, she will head back to Texas and she will take a nice long vacation. However, it won't be a forever vacation because there have been rumblings, although nothing's been officially announced, that Dirt 4, in the Dirt 4 organization within the game, not, you know, in our world, to be clear, that they're going to be putting together a new rally. That was a pretty sweet jump. A new rally, but just for the top tier racers in, you know, the, 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 the drivers who have had the best finishes and the the best results in a sort of like creme de la creme competition you know like maybe like 12 competitors at the most and it would be short events all over the would be globe trotting and this is something that she's kind of maybe thought about doing but again nothing's been officially announced and no one's officially talked to jamie or unofficially talked to jamie about anything it's just what she's heard from other drivers, so. That's her immediate future. You know, I'm sure at some point she'll meet somebody and settle down and raise uh, the future of Rally. But uh, for the time being, she's just going to take a break and then she's going to get back into it. However, she's going to have to do it without a very good chunk of her team because... Every member of her current team, with the exception of Maggie, and we'll get to Maggie in a second, and Finn, they're all leaving after this event, after this after this championship. They're all off to do other things. I mean, she's going to take a, a long vacation, and the only person, you know she can actively no and no okay i actually think that that car might have turned all the way over if i'd given it a couple more seconds but i don't want to risk it so i'll just take the the four seconds of penalty time because it would have taken me longer anyway anyway so uh uh maggie is heading home Get off the side. Cool. Okay. Uh, for this long trip. And spoiler. She and her husband are going to have a kid. Now, of course, she's not pregnant as she drives through this. But she'll get pregnant right after they, they get back home. And maybe not right after. But I imagine... I imagine this will be a really good thing. However... She's talked about in the past maybe quitting when she has a family because, you know, I mean, let's be honest. Rally is not the safest 
thing in the world, right? Like, yeah, they've made the cars safer than they were in the 70s, but that doesn't make them safe. It just makes them safer. And the idea of having a kid, you know, and that's not to say she won't come back or that she won't work. Um, you know, she has a she has an accounting degree. She's a CPA, you know, although I don't think I've mentioned that. So this is the first time I think I'm mentioning that. Um, she, she manages all of Jamie's finances, which is why Jamie can take a three or five year break. Actually, I don't think Jamie ever has to race again. I think she has enough money, and, and it's been invested well, because her best friend is a CPA, whose only client is Jamie. Um, and so that's what's going to be going on with Maggie. Um, so Rousseau has had a, a bit of trouble through this through this tournament, through this championship, and she, uh, she, she, well... Her team has either been, she's either let members of her team go or they left. Or they will be leaving, I guess, rather, at the end of this thing. So she's actually going to be starting a new team, but not, not uh, just as her as the only driver. She's actually going to be hiring other drivers. She wants to, uh, she's still going to drive, but she also wants to foster young talent, which is why she's bringing on Martin. Now, you may remember Martin and hers issues in the past um they're mostly worked out so she's bringing him on as a driver as well as a mentor for younger drivers as well more of a you know don't do the stupid crap i did as a kid kind of thing with martin um so yeah uh and so that's what Rousseau's is going to be doing she'll still be racing but she'll also she won't be racing as much unfortunately um, but yeah, starting a new team is really exciting for her. That was a crappy turn. What a way to go out. Um, so Hank, you remember Hank. Hank was the first lead engineer Jamie ever hired. He, uh, he runs a, um, an auto shop in Finland. Well, his business is doing just fine. I mean, he and his wife are, they have their kids. They have, uh, you know, everything. His, his business is booming. It's just continually booming and booming. So much so that he needed to hire a couple new mechanics. And one such mechanic he hired was Jack. Remember Jack? Jack was the second engineer Jamie hired. Well, Jack left under not great terms um, because it's still a little mysterious as to why he left. No one's really sure why he left. Oh, my good Lord. He, um, he didn't really succeed in any other team besides Jamie, so he bounced around from team to team for a while. And then he went back to Finland. And then one day, uh, of course, he knew he knew Hank had started this business, and so he went to see if they were hiring. And as luck would have it, they were hiring because their business was booming. So, yeah, so Hank and Jack are working together again. So Jamie kind of made that happen that's really exciting um finn is going to be working for one of those corporate sponsor teams while jamie takes her break but as soon as uh jamie's ready to race again he's going to be back again ready to go with her because well they've been through so much he just couldn't leave her also she's still trying to figure him out okay stage times and current standings have been updated that doesn't bode super well Second, okay, okay, okay. Second. Hey, the car's in good shape. It it just looks beat up. Gives it some character. Five, four, three, two, one, go. So going into this final stage, I'll get to the rest of the people in a second. But going into this final stage, um, no one could help but not cry. Like, there were a lot of tears, because it was sad, because it's the end of an era. And it, that's an appropriate thing to do. And so, everyone was quite, quite sad. You know? So, as I said, everyone's leaving. And Hope, Hope is heading to, at, get off the, thank you. Now, I mentioned, when I first talked about Hope, that Hope had worked for a 
once a, a team. She had been, she had worked for a team um, in League Two of the uh, English Football League. Now, I've never mentioned what this team was, and it doesn't really matter. But now she's actually working for Lincoln City. Um, see, two, yeah, cu couple, ah, uh, well, that sucked. <laughs> uh, you see, a couple, a little while ago, they hired themselves a new striker from Texas, of all places, and... They, uh, their last press officer, so she's going to be their new press, press chief, press, head of press. I'm not really sure what you, what they call, what the title's actually going to be, but she's going to be in charge of all the press going forward, uh, which is going to be really good because apparently this, this hotshot from Texas was not super thrilled with some of the press he was getting, um, and so they wanted a new press manager so that's good for her right um uh so ah whoops sorry uh now what two of the engineers are zara and petra but zara is french and this was her first her second job and she's really enjoyed working for Jamie, but Jamie's taking this time off and she can't really afford to work, to not work for other people. She might come back and work for Jamie too, but Rousseau hired her for her new team, specifically to work on Rousseau's car, specifically to be the lead, the chief engineer, which is something, which is a job she's wanted, but she didn't, really? The flag, the flag's going to bring me to a dead stop? A stupid skinny pole that's like an antenna? Yeah. All right. Now, Petra... Petra's taking a page out of Russo's book. In fact, she's already started. She is launching a team as well. Now, Petra was... Uh, she worked for a lot of different teams. She's seen how these teams work. And she feels like she can work them better. than like Not the way Jamie's run her team. But, like in fact, actually, she was telling Jamie that... Jamie was the best team she'd ever worked for, which is why she stuck around for as long as she did. Because usually it's just one com uh, one one contract length, and then she's gone. Uh, but because Jamie was far less dysfunctional than any crap any other team, uh, she stuck around. But now she really feels like she's got the skills to run her own team, which is something she's always wanted to do. And she's got the money. She she doesn't hardly spend her money, so she saves it consistently. And so she's working with um, some financial people to get her to um, to get her the money, the rest of the money she needs, basically to hire some young drivers. And yeah, so that's really, really exciting. Carol, who is the current chief engineer, is um, is going to be working for Petra. Um, Petra will not be an engineer in any way, shape, or form. She'll just be the owner. Uh, but Carol's the best... Not... Yeah, Carol. Carol's the best uh, chief engineer she's ever seen. Uh, according to her. Although she didn't really get to see Hank. So... You know. Um, or did she? No, I can't remember. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Um, so she's going to take Carol. Carol's going to be... Um, Chief engineer, and th that's that's pretty much the entire team. I know there's some other people we've met, um, such as Hannah, who is nipping on Jamie's heels here. Well, while Jamie's gone, I'm sure Hannah will become the next hotshot. But you know, uh, she uh, she she she'll she'll do just fine. You know, and without her principal competition of Jamie to push her, who knows? But once you get to the top, the only thing you need is someone nipping at your heels to keep you going. And so hopefully Hannah will get that while Jamie's gone. Wow, I think I have butchered that every single time. That turn. 
I don't know what it is about that turn, but I've butchered it. I guess because it's the final episode, and so the game's decided. It knows I'm not recording any more Dirt 4, at least for a while. Uh, so, it really wants to screw me over by... I'm not sure what the heck is going on there. So that that's pretty much what the team's going to be up to, at least for the next couple of months. Um, you know... You know, I like. I'm sure that Rousseau will eventually find somebody. You know, she she's not been the most lucky in love, romantically speaking. Um, okay, that was awesome. I can't even reset the car, so we're just gonna sit here for. There we go. Just magically get teleported there. That's great news. That's great news. Okay, so just so we're clear, do you see the first, first, and first? That's right. That means we won event standings. Let's look at event standings real fast. So Hannah obviously came in second there. Championship standings. Oh, that sucks for Hannah. Jamie obviously came in first, then Becker, and then Hannah, and then Eli. Championship complete. And there it is. Jamie has won the triple crown. At least the rally part of the triple crown. I mean, she could win the other stuff too, but... There they are, celebrating. There's the trophy. Jamie needs to pick up the trophy. No, nope. there, there you go. We're ending Jamie's story the way we should, on top of the competition. Just an absolutely dominating performance there in the Triple Crown Rally. This has been Jamie's Adventures in Dirt 4. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.